Hi everyone, welcome to the So Essential vlog. I'm Lucy and I'm here today to share with you some of the latest independent patterns we've added to the website recently. So over the last few months we've added loads of new independent patterns, lots of new designs and I haven't done one of these roundups for ages so I've just picked out a few of my favourites. I've picked out some gorgeous new fabrics to pair them with and as always everything I talk about today is available on our website. You'll find the link to our website below and you'll also find links to all the individual products below as well so they're nice and easy for you to find if you like what you see today please like and subscribe because every friday we bring you a big dose of sewing inspiration and sewing goodness on our channel so do subscribe if you like what you see today before i get started i'll just tell you what i'm wearing so i'm wearing a soho 7 toaster sweater which i made in this lovely um sweater weight sort of jersey knit fabric it's a foresty green and it's got like metallic -y colors going through it i've always loved this fabric and we're now doing it in another colorway as well there's like a terracotta and gold colorway and then i paired it with this simple a-line denim skirt um, which is a birder pattern in our charcoal denim and i've always um shared my makes on here so you'll find details more details to these makes if you want them on the channel as well so let's get started with the first pattern the first pattern i want to talk to you about is the grain line studios augusta shirt and dress pattern which comes in sizes from a 32 burst, 25 waist and 35 hip up to a 44 burst, 37 waist and 47 hip. Um, I really like this pattern because I just think it's beautiful in its simplicity. It's got quite simple lines really, but then it's just got a really interesting um, design on the neckline and the collar. Um, so although it looks simple, I think there'll be some really interesting techniques here where you put the collar together and the neckline together. So it's an oversized cocoon shape, so really fashionable at the moment. Um, dress or shirt, and it has got this asymmetrical collar, so one edge of the collar comes down further than the other and is top stitched down onto the front of the dress or the skirt um, it's got short you can do a short sleeve with a cuff or you can do a long sleeve and it's got a mitered um, split hem as well so like I say it, overall it looks like quite a simple shirt but it's just got these couple of design details that really elevate it and make it just that little bit more special and interesting and I think that at the moment I've talked you about this before I'm, I'm enjoying wearing lots of blouses with cardigans just for something different to wear I know I'm wearing a jumper today um, but yeah I've quite enjoyed having some really nice blouses in my wardrobe and um, yeah it's just an opportunity really to add to that collection and I really liked um, the styling that they provided on the images that came with the pattern where they used like a beautiful sort of burnt goldy sort of colour um, so it almost looked like a satin fabric this is a satin back crepe and I thought oh yeah that would just work so well that paired with some jeans would just look so special and luxurious and I know a lot of us aren't socialising or you know going out at the moment but I'm finding that a really nice way to sort of lift my mood and just help me feel you know that I'm not just in my jogging bottoms all the time is by just making some nice blouses that I can wear with my jeans and a cardigan so I don't feel dressed up or overdressed but it just adds that little bit of glamour and you know lifts my mood just wearing something nice so that's my suggestion for the Augusta shirt and blouse we've got lots of other fabrics that would work with that pattern if that isn't your bag and then the next pattern I want to talk to you about is very much a um, what a lot of us are wearing at the moment. So it's a hooded top, um, so a casual sort of hooded top, but it almost looks a bit more substantial like a jacket thanks to some of the design details which I'll talk you through. Um, it's a style art pattern and their sizes range from a 30.3 inch bust, <laughs> a 23 and a half inch waist, and 32.6 inch hip I think the weird sort of measurements is because they've been translated from centimeters um, and then it goes up to a 58 and a quarter inch burst 50 and a half inch waist and a 61 inch hip so that gives you 
um, the information for the sizes on the style arc patterns. Um, but yeah, this Kennedy hooded top, I think it looks like it'd be a lot of fun to make. It's it's ranked as a more challenging make, so you know, probably better for somebody who's got a bit of experience um, sewing or you know is confident taking on a bit of a challenge. But I just really like the way they've taken the traditional hoodie and made it almost look a bit more like a sort of anorak just through some of the design details. So the one of the things I like is that the hood isn't it doesn't just come out of the neckline. Um, it actually comes up and, and surrounds your whole face when you've got it done up like a, a hood on a jacket would. Instead of it just coming out of the neckline there and the, the sort of being a gap at the front, it actually comes up to here. So it'd be really warm from that point of view. Um, it's got an, an ultra modern look. It's got a lovely panel down the front and then the sleeves are sort of grown on and then, well, they're like a drop sleeve really. There's a seam that would sit probably just below your shoulders there. Um, there's also a seam across the front and a little flap um, sort of pocket effect there. And then a couple of um, diagonal seams that come down to the waist. Um, the sleeves are also, it looks like in two parts, there's a seam running down the back of the sleeve and then there's also a stripe down the back of the hood as well and then it looks like it's fastened with snap fasteners um, at the front so you can open it out and snap fasten it up and then the same, there's a little cuff and that's actually got like a snap on it as well. Um, so I do think, you know, a really fun, interesting make for, um, for you and I think, you know, with the different panels and things you could have a bit of fun with colour blocking and that sort of thing on here as well um, and the fabric I would suggest to make it in is this wonderful wonderful uh, sweatshirt fabric that we've just had in stock I've made a sweater a hoodie myself out of this in the we've got like a mustardy goldy sort of colour um, but I've chosen the claret today to show you that we've got a teal one as well we've got like a light grey so we've got lots of um, options there navy blue I think as well but this stuff is just beautiful it's a cotton jersey sweatshirting fabric it's got the most beautifully soft fleece it's like Oh, buttery soft on the inside. It's so lovely. Um, they're Ocheotex certified, so they're manufactured in a more environmentally friendly way. So that's another um, tick for these fabrics. But I'm happy to vouch that I've worn, I've made the hoodie, the yellow hoodie, and I've worn it pretty much non-stop since I made it because it's so comfortable and the fabric is just beautiful to wear. Um, so yeah, that would be my choice for that one for the Kennedy hoodie. And then the next pattern I wanted to talk to you about, this was released in the summer, but I thought it was worth a mention. It's a short sleeve blouse. Um, but personally, like I said, I've been layering up blouses with cardigans and things and with people spending lots of time at home as well and, um, you know, indoors at home, I thought, well, you know, people might still want to wear short sleeve blouses even though we're heading into autumn and you can layer it up. Um, it's the Sagebrush Top by the Friday Pattern Company. So the size range on this one goes from a 32 inch bust, 24 inch waist and 34 inch hip up to a 59 bust, 52 waist and 62 hip. Um, and it's a really pretty little blouse. It's short sleeve as I say, it is a puff sleeve and I know sometimes people are quick to say you can't layer a puff sleeve but I've been doing it, I've been wearing, I've got some quite voluminous sleeve blouses and actually because I've bought cardigans that have got quite a voluminous sleeve or are quite chunky and um, not skin tight, actually it's worked just fine and I felt fine in it. So um, yeah, they've got a short puff sleeve, it's got a yoke across the front with a lovely little ruffle detail. Um, gathers to finish the hem of the sleeve and people say you know it's a really comfortable pattern to wear I think just chucking this on again with a pair of jeans and a cardigan would just make me feel a bit better than if I'm just constantly wearing you know my hoodies and my lounge wear um, it's meant to be a super easy sew as well and I've seen loads of lovely versions of this on Instagram so I would really like to have a go at making this and the fabric I chose for this one is this um, crepe de chine which is a John Caldor um, and it's just got this fun little abstract print all over it. I love the sort of deep red, it's not a rust, it's sort of a deep 
not even a brick red it's not that orangey it's a definite red um but it just feels like a very sort of autumnal color to me and i think that would look beautiful made up as the sagebrush top and then you could pair it with a black cardigan or a blue cardigan there's a lovely little bright blue fleck in there as well um, and it's got lovely draper movements it's a crepe de chine as well so it worked really well for the ruffles and the puff sleeves and then the next pattern I wanted to talk to you about, another great one for layering, one for, you know, easy to wear around the house, is the Rio Ringer shirt, t-shirt and dress by True Bias Patterns. So their size chart runs from a 32 chest, it says, um, I'll take that as bust, 26 waist and 34 hip. I'm sure that is the bust measurement because I've made several of the true bias patterns and I've always loved them there and they've always fitted well um, and it runs up to a 44 and a half inch burst 38 and a half inch waist and a 46 and a half inch hip and it is just a super simple t-shirt and dress pattern um, in the summer I think the dress would be fantastic um, to just chuck on with a pair of trainers and a little denim jacket um, and I think I'd feel really comfortable wearing it for any occasion nipping out to the shops picking the kids up from school you know all those sorts of things but because of the winter I would probably want to make the t-shirt at the moment and again use that to be layering with other items um, when it's cold perhaps you could wear like a denim shirt open over the top of it um, or you could wear it underneath a pinafore dress or you could wear it under a jumper or a cardigan um, I've just really loved the retro look of this t-shirt and although it is a plain simple t-shirt pattern I've spent a lot of time looking at t-shirt patterns and I don't think there's another one that's that I've seen that's anything like this I do think it's quite original it's got that definite sort of retro vibe to it that I love um, and it um, can be made up in jersey fabric so we have got our John Caldor Cadiz fabric which is a beautiful cotton jersey it's a lovely weight for a fitted t-shirt like that I've made lots of things in this fabric before it washes and wears beautifully we've got this gorgeous emerald green colour which is similar to the colour on the front of the packet we also do white so you could make a neckband and the cuffs out of the white um, jersey it does suggest ribbing on the pattern but I think you'd be fine using um, jersey as well or you could buy some ribbing we haven't got any white ribbing on our website at the moment but I'm sure we'll be adding some at some point but yeah I think that would be a great little addition to your wardrobe whip it up in no time at all and then probably find yourself wearing it all the time and then the next pattern I wanted to talk to you about is the Belgravia knit dress which I've somehow managed to drop on the floor. This is by Liesel & Co and um, their size range goes from a 32 and a half inch burst, 25 waist and 35 hip up to a 46 burst, 38 and a half waist and 48 and a half inch hip. Um, I really like this dress, I just think it's got some nice details, um, there's two options so there's which you can sort of mix and match the design features between them, it's got a v-neck which is fairly unusual you know look, more often we see patterns with a round neck, a crew neck but this has got a v-neck which is um, a nice interesting design detail for you to sew. There's a version with capped sleeves, they've both got a little slit at the front of the skirt and then the short sleeve version has got a tie that just ties at the front there but the long sleeve version actually wraps around the back of you and then comes around the front to tie but it's meant to be a very very um, easy sew. They say, they say on the packet that you know the wrap might look sort of a bit um, com complicated but it's surprisingly uncomplicated um, and I just think yeah it's a nice Nice, it'd be a nice comfortable casual dress that would feel a little bit more dressed up thanks to the tie and just be something interesting to sew really and I think you could dress it down as well it's quite dressed up on the pattern packet but I think you could dress it down and make it look a bit more casual as well and the fabric I chose to make that up in is our wonderful adorable I love this fabric I've got several garments in my wardrobe made from this beautiful fabric some of them I've had 
for probably getting on for five years now, washed and worn repeatedly and still in beautiful condition. Um, it's our John Caldor Isabella wool jersey. It comes in several different colours. This is the adorable teal blue, which I still need to get around to making something in. I'm hoping this winter will be the, the year I do it. Um, but we've also got like a lovely claret colour, a purple colour, charcoal, a lighter grey, a navy blue. It's really, really beautiful stuff. A bright red. I think there might be a bright red still, yeah, but they're all on the site, so just get on and have a look. But I think that would work really well, be lovely and comfortable. It's so soft against your skin um, and would work well for that lovely Belgravia knit dress. And then the last two patterns I want to talk to you about are the Style Arc Debra Zebra knit top. Debra Zebra, I mean, what is not to love about that pattern? Even just looking at the name, I liked it. Um, this will be the si same sizes as the or um, the other Style Arc pattern that I mentioned. No, I haven't mentioned a Style Arc. Yes, I have. I have mentioned a Style Arc pattern, the Kennedy hooded top. It'll be the same size range as that. So. 30.3 inch bust, 23 and a half inch waist, 32.6 inch hip, up to a 58 and a quarter bust, 50 and a half waist and 61 hip. Um, and this is just a lovely simple funnel neck top which I was really pleased to see because my favourite turtle neck top um, which was a quick sew pattern has now been discontinued but I think this looks like maybe a happy um, replacement for it and what I really like about this version is it, you don't even need to sew a neck band it's actually like a grown on funnel collar which I'd be really keen to have a go at um, and I think would just make it a super simple sew and I've had a look at some of the reviews of people who've sewed this top and they said it's so easy it comes together so easily you've just got the two sleeves the front and the back and that's it you know I mean you haven't got to worry about like neck bands and getting the tension right or any of those things so I think this could be a really good pattern to have in your collection that you probably will turn to time and time again in the winter months and the fabric I chose is this lovely super soft ribbed jersey fabric that we've got and it comes again in a range of colours. I love this forest green colour um, and it's just got that lovely rib on it and it's just super soft and would be really, really comfortable. And I think it would make a great version of the Zebra Zebra knit top. And then the final pattern I wanted to touch you about was the Style Arc Murphy dress. So these are brand new from Style Arc. They've only just come out um, as I'm recording this video, which might not get released for a couple of weeks. But yeah, they are hot off the press, um, certainly here in the UK anyway. Um, but the Style Arc Murphy is a really lovely denim dress. And I think probably it is more of a sort of spring summer design, but... I think, you know, denim dresses can easily be layered. I think you could easily wear like a turtleneck underneath it and tights and boots and it would look great. And then, you, you know, in the summer or the spring, you could wear it without the layering. Um, but I just really like it because there's options for a cuffed mid-length sleeve it's got a cuffed mid-length sleeve it's got a high-low hem but the high-low hem's got a bit of a different twist to it so it's square at the back and then it's curved at the front which i thought was really nice and interesting and would be interesting to sew um it's got the classic lots of the classic shirt details so it's got the pockets on the front on the breast it's got um a stand-up collar so that's always fun i think to sew um something that i've only done like this year for the first time and always thought oh it's going to be really complicated and difficult and it wasn't at all you know i, I didn't find it hard at all so um, I have been sewing for five years. So, you know, if you are newer to sewing, don't be put off if you do find it difficult. But as an experienced sewer, it's one of those things that I sort of thought, oh, it's going to be really complicated and it wasn't. Um, and yeah, I just I just really love the funky little design features on this dress. And the fabric I chose is this lovely new denim that we've got in stock, which is a really nice weight for a dress like that. It's not too heavy um, and it's a very, very deep indigo. It almost looks sort of getting towards black, but it, but it is a bluish colour. Um, and it's got like these little droplets on it. I don't know whether the camera we'll pick them up I think oh it has look yeah they they're like little they almost look like little raindrops or something on it they're really subtle um 
you know, really tastefully done. But I just think what a lovely, interesting design detail for a denim that you wouldn't normally see. Um, and if you made that Murphy dress up in this fabric, I think you'd have a really original, unique denim dress. And personally, you know, a denim dress in my wardrobe gets worn to death because they are just so wearable, aren't they? And so versatile. So I hope you've enjoyed all of that today. As I said at the start of the video, everything I talked about today is available on our website. You can find the links to all the products on our website below. And if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.